Your Excellency Sri Narendra Modi ji, member of delegation from both sides, friends from media, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, for your kind words. I am equally touched by your warm welcome and generous hospitality. This is my fourth visit to India as the Prime Minister of Nepal. I fondly recall my previous visit in September 2008 and then twice in September and October 2016. I bring with me the greeting and best wishes of the government and people of Nepal. We are happy to see the remarkable transformation of India's economic and development landscape under the able leadership of Prime Minister Modi ji. I congratulate Prime Minister Modi ji on completion this week of nine years in government with far-reaching achievement on, it, on many fronts. The relations between Nepal and India are age-old and multifaceted. These relations stand on the solid foundation built on the one hand by the rich tradition of civilizational, cultural, socio-economic linkage and on the other, by the two countries' firm commitment to the time-tested principle of sovereign equality, mutual respect, understanding, and cooperation. Today, Prime Minister Modi ji mentioned, we made an extensive review of the progress in our relation and renewed our commitment to further strengthen this relation and cooperation. I appreciate Prime Minister Modi ji, Modi ji neighborhood first policy. In our meeting today, we discussed the ways to further strengthen cooperation in diverse areas including trade, transit, investment, hydropower development, power trade, irrigation, agriculture, connectivity, including air entry routes, railways, bridge, transmission line, expansion of petroleum pipeline, construction of integrated check posts, as well as cultural and people-to-people -people contact. As you all witnessed, Prime Minister Modi ji and I jointly launched various projects through remote inauguration, flagging up, and groundbreaking. A number of agreements and MOUs have also been exchanged. We reviewed the progress made in the implementation of the hydroelectricity project in Nepal and toward the construction of cross-border transmission line. It is one of the most important elements of our economic partnership. Nepal's hydropower can not only contribute to our economic, economies and energy security, but also serve as an important factor to realize our climate ambition. I appreciate India's import of 452 megawatt of power from Nepal and requested Prime Minister Modi ji for approval of the import of additional 1200 megawatt of power from Nepal, including 456 megawatt upper Tamakoshi. I thank Prime Minister Modi ji for positive response. Looking ahead, an agreement on the long-term power trade has been completed. On this agreement, India will import 10,000 megawatt of power from Nepal in the next 10 years. This is a major development in enhancing cooperation in this area based on the joint vision statement that the two prime ministers issued in April 2022. I also appreciated India's willingness to facilitate the export of hydropower from Nepal to Bangladesh through India. We have agreed that export up to 50 megawatt of power from Nepal to Bangladesh via, via India would commerce commence soon and the three countries would work out an agreement to this effect soon. Today, we also witnessed the signing and exchange of the project development agreement for the development of 669 megawatt lower Arun hydropower project and the MOU on the development of 480 megawatt Fukut Karnali hydropower project. These project, projects provide a fresh momentum for power sector development and cross-border trade. Prime Minister Modi ji and I agreed to advance the Pancheshwar multipurpose project by concluding the DPR within three months. For this purpose, we have directed our respective officials to expedite bilateral discussion 
The modalities of implementation will be concluded within one year after the approval of DPR by the two governments. We welcome the construction of the Tanakpur link canal and agreed that water will be released from Tanakpur barrage to irrigation command area of Nepal through this canal in a phase-wise manner based on the necessity, necessary facilities on the Nepali side. I am happy to state that the vital transmission line project under ELOC 4 will commence soon. Prime Minister Modi ji and I discuss other aspects of the cooperation in water resources, including irrigation. We also discuss to resolve the problem of inundation and take appropriate measure for flood control. control. We have directed our officials to hold meeting of bilateral mechanisms at the earliest to address the issues and find ways for further cooperation before the onset of monsoon. We discussed the promotion of trade and the ways of reducing Nepal's increasing trade deficit with India. India is Nepal's largest trading partner. I have requested Prime Minister Modi ji for non-reciprocal market access to India with more flexible and easy quarantine procedure for Nepal's agricultural products and simplified rules of origin for other products. We also discussed the establishment of well-equipped testing labs along the major border points and formalizing of the arrangement for mutual recognition of test certificate. I requested Prime Minister Modi ji to lifting of the anti-dumping duty on Nepali jute products. Integrated check posts and dry ports are crucial for trade facilitation as well as for seamless cross-border movement of goods and people. Prime Minister Modi ji and I jointly inaugurated the ICP at Nepal Ganj Rupediha border and performed remote ground, ground breaking of the ICP at Bhairava Sunoli border. Similarly, we witnessed the exchange of the MOU on building of an integrated check post and dry port at Dodara Chandani. The revised trade and transit, trade, the revised treaty of transit was signed and exchanged today. We have also agreed to direct early convening of the Commerce Secretary Label Mechanism to initiate the process for review of the Treaty of Trade. The MOU between the NPCIL and NCHL signed today will ease the cross-border payments much needed by the business people, students, pilgrims and travelers of both Nepal and India. We just witnessed the groundbreaking of the phase two of Motihari Amleganj Petroleum Pipeline we look forward to its early construction. We have also reached an agreement for the extension of Motiari Amleganj Petroleum Pipeline up to Chiton and construction of a new cross-border petroleum pipeline from Silguri to Japa on grant basis. Prime Minister Modi ji and I jointly flagged off the cargo rail service between Batnaha and Biratnagar, Nepal Custom Yards, the passenger rail service between Jayanagar to Kurtha has been extended to Bijalpura. I thank the government of India for its generous assistance in constructing these railway links. We also held discussion on the early completion of the works in the remaining segment and sustained operation of these railway through training and capacity building of Nepali railway personnel. We discussed about Nepal's request for additional air entry route. Nepal welcomes India's positive indication of air entry route for bilateral flights. It is operationally feasible for ATR aircraft. We request for approval of high altitude additional air, air entry route from Mahindranagar at an early date. We appreciate India's approval for near border flight operation in the Gautam Buddha International Airport in Bhairava. Nepal, through publishing ILS, ILS procedure in the AIP to enhance safety and efficiency of the flight operation. We would like to have regular flights from Nepal's newly built international airport of Bhairava and Pokhara to and from various cities of India. Prime Minister Modi ji and I have agreed to promote cooperation in the field of agriculture. 
we look forward to early conclusion of MOU on cooperation in agriculture and in the field of livestock and we are thankful to the government of India for the gift of improved breed of livestock and hope to receive germ plasm of major cash crop, particularly uh, of the uh, cash crop of the sugar cane and uh, coffee. Prime Minister Modi ji and I discussed the boundary matter. I urge Prime Minister Modi ji to resolve the boundary matter through the established bilateral diplomatic mechanism. I commended the role played and initiative taken by Prime Minister Modi ji during India G20 presidency as well as SCO chairmanship, including for giving voice to the issues of concern to the global south. Nepal is happy to join India's multilateral initiative of the International Solar Alliance and more recently the International Big Cat Alliance. As India celebrates Azadika Amrit Mahotsav, I congratulate India for all its achievements, be it in the economic growth or industrialization, infrastructure development or science and technology, poverty elevation or expansion of social security scheme and uh, many other fronts, Nepal see India's advancement as the opportunity for Nepal. We also discussed about the establishment of fertilizer plant in Nepal in joint venture, and we will try our best uh, to, hire, to work together to, for the successful completion of the project. India is Nepal's close neighbor and uh, important partner for the development and prosperity. As Nepal moves ahead on the path of graduating from LDC status by 2026, India's continued support and goodwill remains important for us. We have agreed to maintain the momentum generated by this visit and take effective measures for the implementation of the agreement and understanding reached today and uh, earlier. Today, I am really touched with the explanation of Excellency Prime Minister Modi ji about the agriculture development in Nepal and uh, about the nano fertilizer project and uh, how we can cooperate. It is touching for me. I think that it is touching for the Nepalese people as well. I have extended cordial invitation to Prime Minister Modi ji for a visit to Nepal. I look forward to welcoming him in Nepal soon. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. That concludes the press statements. Thank you all for joining. Please remain seated as the dignitaries leave. Her Excellency Pradhan Matri Prachanji, Dono delegations ke sadasya, media ke humare saathi, namaskar. Sabse pehle to mein Pradhan Matri Prachanji ka aur unke prasidhi mandal ka भारत में हार्दिक स्वागत करता हूं मुझे याद है 9 साल पहले 2014 में कार्यभार संभालने के 3 महीने के भीतर मैंने नेपाल की अपनी पहली यात्रा की थी उस समय मैंने भारत नेपाल संबंधों के लिए एक हीट फार्मूला HIT दिया था हाईवेज आईवेज और ट्रांसवेज मैंने कहा था कि भारत और नेपाल के बीच ऐसे संपर्क स्थापित करेंगे कि हमारे बॉर्डर्स हमारे बीच बैरियर्स न बने ट्रक्स की जगह पाइपलाइन से तेल का निर्यात होना चाहिए साझा नदियों के ऊपर ब्रिज बनाने चाहिए नेपाल से भारत को बिजली निर्यात करने के लिए सुविधाएं बनाई जानी चाहिए फ्रेंड्स आज नौ साल बाद मुझे कहते हुए खुशी है कि हमारी पार्टनरशिप वाकई में हिट है पिछले नौ सालों में हमने अनेक क्षेत्रों में कई उपलब्धियां हासिल की है बिरगंज में नेपाल की पहली आईसीपी बनाई गई भारत नेपाल के बीच हमारे क्षेत्र की पहली क्रॉस बॉर्डर पेट्रोलियम पाइपलाइन बनाई गई हमारे बीच पहली ब्रॉडगेज रेल लाइन स्थापित की गई सीमा पर नई ट्रांसमिशन लाइन्स का निर्माण किया गया है 
अब हम नेपाल से 450 मेगावाट से अधिक बिजली आयात कर रहे हैं अगर हम नौ साल की उपलब्धियों का वर्णन करने लगेंगे तो पूरा दिन निकल जाएगा फ्रेंड्स आज मैंने और प्रधानमंत्री प्रचंड जी ने भविष्य में अपनी पार्टनरशिप को सुपर हिट बनाने के लिए बहुत से महत्वपूर्ण निर्णय लिए हैं आज ट्रांजिट एग्रीमेंट संपन्न किया गया है इसमें नेपाल के लोगों के लिए नए रेल रूट्स के साथ साथ भारत के इनलैंड वाटर बेज की सुविधा का भी प्रावधान किया गया है हमने नए रेल लिंक स्थापित कर फिजिकल कनेक्टिविटी को बढ़ाने का निर्णय लिया साथ साथ भारतीय रेल संस्थानों में नेपाल के रेल कर्मियों को प्रशिक्षण प्रदान करने का भी निर्णय लिया गया है नेपाल के सुदूर पश्चिमी क्षेत्र से कनेक्टिविटी को बढ़ावा देने के लिए शीर्षा और जूलाघाट में दो और पुल बनाए जाएंगे क्रॉस बॉर्डर डिजिटल पेमेंट के लिए उसके माध्यम से फाइनेंशियल कनेक्टिविटी में उठाए गए कदमों का हम स्वागत करते हैं इसका लाभ हजारों विद्यार्थी लाखों टूरिस्ट और तीर्थयात्रियों के साथ साथ मेडिकल ट्रीटमेंट के लिए भारत आए मरीजों को भी मिलेगा तीन आईसीपी के निर्माण से आर्थिक कनेक्टिविटी सुदृढ़ होगी पिछले साल हमने पावर सेक्टर में सहयोग के लिए एक लैंडमार्क विजन डॉक्यूमेंट अपनाया था इसको आगे बढ़ाते हुए आज भारत और नेपाल के बीच लॉन्ग टर्म पावर ट्रेड एग्रीमेंट संपन्न किया गया है इसके अंतर्गत हमने आने वाले 10 वर्षों में नेपाल से दस हजार मेगावाट बिजली आयात करने का लक्ष्य रखा है फुकोट कर्णाली और लोअर अरुण हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक परियोजनाओं पर हुए समझौते से विद्युत क्षेत्र में सहयोग को और बल मिला है मोतिहारी अमलेखगंज पेट्रोलियम पाइपलाइन के सकारात्मक प्रभाव को देखते हुए इस पाइपलाइन को चितवन तक ले जाने का निर्णय लिया गया है इसके अलावा सिलीगुड़ी से पूर्वी नेपाल में झापा तक एक और नई पाइपलाइन भी बनाई जाएगी साथ साथ चितवन और झापा में नए स्टोरेज टर्मिनल भी लगाए जाएंगे नेपाल में एक फर्टिलाइजर प्लांट स्थापित करने के लिए आपसी सहयोग पर भी हमारी सहमति हुई है फ्रेंड्स भारत और नेपाल के धार्मिक और सांस्कृतिक संबंध बहुत पुराने हैं और बहुत मजबूत है इस सुंदर कड़ी को और मजबूती देने के लिए प्रधानमंत्री प्रचंड जी और मैंने निश्चय किया है कि रामायण सर्किट से संबंधित परियोजनाओं में तेजी लाई जानी चाहिए हम अपने रिश्तों को हिमालय जितनी ऊंचाई देने के लिए काम करते रहेंगे और इसी भावना से हम सभी मुद्दों का चाहे बाउंड्री का हो या कोई और विषय सभी का समाधान करेंगे एक्सलेंसी प्रधानमंत्री प्रचंड जी आप कल इंदौर और धार्मिक शहर उज्जैन की यात्रा करेंगे मुझे विश्वास है कि आपकी उज्जैन यात्रा ऊर्जामयी होगी और पशुपतिनाथ से महाकालेश्वर की इस यात्रा में आपको आध्यात्मिक अनुभूति भी होगी बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद